All right. The second part of question 3b says, describe fully a single transformation that maps triangle ABC onto triangle LMN. Let's see. Triangle ABC onto triangle LMN. This was triangle ABC. This was triangle LMN. You notice something here? We could consider that from here remember all right, what we had before now was A here right oh let me let me reposition this thing I'd, I I'd change it a bit yeah, A was here, it swung here, then to the left, good. What we can, could consider is that there was a rotation. Could be 180 degree clockwise. You could do that. You could rotate C 180 degree clockwise as well. Let's see. Let me draw. A line from here to here. I don't want it that thick. Between L and A. You could swing right around this line. 180 degrees. Let's join B and M. You could very well swing from B. 180 degrees clockwise too. You notice, although that swing was a bit, bit messy. But the other thing you could do is from C, from C to N, you could imagine that you swung from C right to N, 180 degree clockwise, around the origin. You could consider swinging 180 degree clockwise, anti-clockwise as well. You end up in the same place. So, it seems that what you could give for this answer is that you have a rotation of 180 degrees clockwise about the origin. All right? 180 degrees clockwise about the origin. Now, state a 2 by 2 matrix for the transformation that maps ABC to LMN. Alright, let's look back at the graph. Now, you do have a rotation matrix matrix for rotation but let's look at the triangles themselves you have B at no you have A at 1 1 let me write it like this 1 1 is a vector that was A and it maps to L at negative 1 negative 1 all right you had b at one four b was at one four and it mapped to m at negative one negative four you also had c it was at three one C mapped onto N at negative 3, negative 1. Now, if you have, for example, 1, 4, and you have a matrix multiplying 1, 4,
you have this matrix multiplying 1, 4. And you get the answer to be negative 1, negative 4. What could that matrix be? If you have 1, negative 1, negative 1 by 1 gives you negative 1, 0. Negative 1 by 1. So the top number with negative 1 times 1 plus 0 by 4. And you have negative 1 at the top. If you have a number here, time 1, you don't want any 1 down here. It would have to be 0. 0 times 1, 0 times 1 plus this number times 4, give you negative 4, it would have to be negative 1. 0 times 1 is 0 plus negative 1 by 4 is negative 4. So let's, let's recap. Negative 1 times 1 plus 0 times 4 will give negative 1 because 0, 4 is 0, negative 1, 1 is negative 1. That's the top number. The bottom number when you multiply row 2, this the, the first thing was row 1 times the column to get row 1. Row 2 times this column matrix to get row to get row 2 in the answer. 0 times 1. You could multiply it out and see. 0 times 1 is 0 plus negative 1 by 4 is negative 4. So, the, so negative 1 by 4. Let me just redo this part. 0 oh no, what's going on? 0 times 1 plus negative 1 times 4. 0 times 1 is 0. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So that's the answer for this part. So you don't necessarily have to try and remember exactly the format of the reflection matrix and the rotation matrix and the this and that matrix. All right. I know that the rotation matrix had some cos theta zero zero sine theta or something like or cos theta again something like that. All right. But here from looking at the two triangles I was able to come up with this Mul just multiply a matrix with any number in it times 1 4 and you get negative 1 negative 4 which matrix is that you could fix up the matrix so you get negative 1 0 0 negative 1 as the matrix multiplied by negative 1 4 and you, by 1 4 and you get negative 1 4 you could try it on 1 1 2 negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, just to see if it works, 1, 1. Multiply that, see if you get negative 1, negative 1. Negative 1 times 1, negative 1, plus 0 times 1 is 0. Down here is 0 times 1, which is 0, plus negative 1 by 1, negative 1. So at the top you get negative 1, at the bottom negative 1. So it would map 1, 1 to negative 1, negative 1. It mapped... 1, 4 to negative 1, negative 4. And then, if you try it on 3, 1. Negative 1, 0, 0, 1. Multiplied by 3, 1. You get negative 1 by 3. Would give you negative 3 plus 0, 1, 0. Which is just negative 3. 0 times 3 is 0 plus 1, 1, 1. But negative, negative. So 0 times 3, 0 plus negative 1 times 1 give you negative 1. So it would map 3, 1, this, onto negative 3, negative 1, which is this. Alright, so that's the matrix. Alright, so anything else in this question? Alright, so that's question 3 done. So I'll see you a bit later as we continue going through this paper.